time I needed troops. Let's just do a couple cards for December 3rd, 2019. In the middle, we can build a snowman. Four wands came out. Daily energy, please. I might be on later troops. Kids are home, busy last, busy few days. So, that's too many. So, determination. So, stay determined, stay focused. Sag energy, but you could be dealing with an Aries. You have the wheel, you have changes here. Okay? And you have the Eight of Wands, which is, which is messages. So, something looks like someone's destiny is going to kick off soon in the Sagittarius season, which is now. The number 22 or 20 might be relevant. Um, the 18th, the 14th, the 4th, <laughs> the 12th. Anywho, tell me about the Queen of Wands. Well, the very beginning of January. But these changes are here. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Okay. So we got the Five of Cups. Somebody is upset when it comes to love. But somebody is focused on what went down. The ace was at the bottom of the deck. Someone's just focused on the past. How something went down. You know, focused on the pain, the hurt. But it's saying you need to push through. You need to push through whatever's happening. Stay determined to push through. Don't focus on the past so much. This is stuff that's not even relevant right now for some of you. Not with that card because this is past pain, past hurt, past interferences. It's the past interfering with your present moment. Okay, nothing's going to change if you stay in that attitude. So stay focused. If this is, if this is recent pain and heartache, that's, that's different. That's not what this is saying. Okay. So, you have, you have the Eight of Pence oh, with the wheel. So, there's changes to your job, career, commitment is here. Something's destined with the star here. Something is aligned for something to go. In, in someone's direction so what's important right now is that you most definitely get out of this energy okay focus on work you might get a message or you're going back and forth with emails something about work or some type of commitment is changing and it's the way it's supposed to change okay so we have the ace of wands i mean the ace of swords with the king of wands somebody is trying to figure out how to communicate when to send the message could be dealing with an Aries. Looks like the King of Wands wants to lay the weight down when it comes to something. They definitely need to release something in order to move forward. Tell me about this Five of Cups. That's way too many. Tell me about this Five of Cups. Again, I'm not taking five cups, five of cups, please, five of cups. Someone's having a hard time with the change, so they're just trying to stay focused on work. Okay, it is 
somebody is having a really hard time getting out of the past. They're holding on to past pain that's literally stopping the future. Somebody could just be putting all their work, time, and effort into work. But I, I don't feel like this is the case because it's almost like the king of wands needs to deliver a message regarding work or commitment. There's some type of change that occurred and it's like they need to send a message. You have this feminine energy that is holding on and carrying a lot of weight right now on her shoulders. And but the five of cups to me is petty. But this five of cups is not petty. This is heavy. At the bottom of the deck, you got the nine of pence. So insecure. The queen of wands, I'm telling you, is, is not, doesn't ever come in as insecure. So... What are they holding on to? Tell me about the four of pence. What is the queen of wands holding on to? Let's see what this is regarding. Unless this is all the masculine energy. Holding on to love. So the Prince of Cups. So it looks like the Prince of Cups really loves someone, which could be the King of Wands. Okay. And in the past, because the masculine is standing with the Five of Cups, somebody really hurt a masculine energy in the past and is having an extremely hard time letting that go. So they could be burying their head in work, but they're more focused on the past. But it's over. Somebody, a masculine energy is holding on to something that is, is no longer serving them. It's only holding them back. It's like they want change, but is not really going after it. They want it. They want to communicate. I'm really hoping that there's enough love here that they can overcome what's holding them back in order to move forward. Tell me about the Eight of Pence. That's way too many. Eight of Pence, please. There needs to be a change. This, to me, is this is talking about like a commitment. You might be done with a fire sign. They almost all got those, not choosing a path. So, but it's like someone's destiny is here. Somebody needs to walk away from a commitment. What someone did. So now you got the now you got the wheel of fortune twice. Okay. Um, so it looks like they're about to walk away from an empress type energy that's not putting energy and effort into anything anymore. Could be a wife, considering it's the empress. Tell me about the king of wands. Because somebody needs to communicate and either talk to the empress or just communicate with themselves and, and start a new direction. 
but right now it's, it's hesitating, not choosing. They're just confused on how to how to move forward. Some are still in illusionary land, la la land, fantasy land. That seven seven, you got seven seven seven. The chariot to seven two. That was at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, It could be 1977, it could be July 7, it, it could be um, the seventh letter in the alphabet, however it goes down for you. Um, it talks about good fortune, good wisdom, just a, a great day-to-day -day life. It's definitely doubled, it's definitely guided, it definitely talks about, you know, a divine path. It also talks about congratulations for the efforts well done. It's a very positive sign. Expect miracles to occur in your life. So this is like a, a whole new life changing event for someone. Because they truly want to move forward. They're just confused on how, how to, how to communicate. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. What do I want to talk about? <laughs> the, the, uh, 777, you guys could, it's like, it just, it is what it is. So let me give you the 777 too. It's the divine purpose. And I was just talking about that hard work. Um... Discernment indicates that you have to listen to your divine guidance now. You will reap the rewards for your hard work and effort. Know that your wishes are going to come into fruition. You just have to direct the energy, stay positive, go towards your new life, expect miracles. Okay. Um, engage, your, engage yourself and, and share your spiritual perspectives with other people and your insights. The universe is happy about your progress. And due to positive eff efforts and hard work, you have earned your rewards and they will continuously come. You, I feel like some of you are dealing with fire because that came in. That came in with the fire energy too. Okay. So um, I hope this helped. Again, you do have the wheel twice. Okay. So there is some type of destined situation. The best advice I can give you is honestly let go of the past pain because your 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 future st will stay exactly the same if not decline or it it won't ever get to all these miracles and in your your life path and all the blessings and certain stuff coming your way if you continue to worry about moving forward will I get hurt will this person hurt me will I end up in the same situation that that happened last time it's happened so many times why wouldn't it happen again. You know, you were purposely put in a situation for you to, for certain stuff to be triggered and to take a leap of faith and to trust in yourself, trust in the divine, trust in the universe. You always, you always believed in it, but, but it's just, it's different now. And you realize that. Okay. So again, I hope that helps. Stay determined, stay focused, move forward, go after love. If there's love, temperance just flew out with the fool. So there might even be a reconciliation. But this is also a spiritual journey. Okay. Two very powerful cards for additional information. Stop looking at the negative side of stuff. If you have if any narcissism is kicking in, get rid of it. There's no need. There's no need to go there. Okay. Um, your narcissistic tendencies are, are keeping you back because the five of swords is under there. Okay, so it's keeping you from this. All right, so don't let your past affect your future. This could even be a parent, but there's love here, it's definitely guided. 
healings as you proceed. It's ex extremely hard for somebody to reach out. But this is being guided. Let me just throw one Ganesha. Daily Energy, December 3rd, 2019. substance another number seven too but i'm only gonna take one of them i will glare over the substance real quick but a decision so you need to make a decision what exactly do you want from the situation right now are you satisfied the way things are going and moving in your life ganesh is guiding you to go after your desires what are, what, what within is it that you really seek odds are in your favor now motivate yourself time to rejuvenate treat yourself to simple things especially joy switch up the routine as you move through your day-to-day -day schedule in new ways you will create new thoughts okay they're challenging you stop being indecisive and be more decisive once you stop being more strong-willed and strong-minded you will create the opportunities for long-term goals and desires you will then be in a better position you now benefit newfound sense of confidence and are ready for major change. You might consider travel to exotic places. Further education might also bump up your career change at this point. This will expand your learning development and grow to your horizons and immediate and you might have a new immediate environment. With careful planning and moderation approach and a moderate approach, you will set yourself up for success now, but you must move towards the future. So it looks like somebody's doing that. So that is amazing. Congratulations. Okay, so, substance, and now that's 7777, <laughs> there's some things that are definitely out of your hands, okay, enjoy the nourishment that life can give you, this is the time for the abundance, go after it, get more support, nourish your desires, lots of desire here guys, Ganesha encourage you to appreciate all the blessings and treats and gifts, friendships, and new love is now surrounding you, nourishing your soul, so you can find something interesting, exciting, and stimulating, a new way to experience life. It's time to learn, grow, and change. You're also refusing, to, if this could also mean you're also refusing to create, experience, grow, and change, but this is what you need to do. It's most detrimental to you. Only you can truly know what your soul desires. Okay, so go after it. Talk about it if you don't understand. This means listening to your inner dreams, hopes, and wishes too. On occasion, it might mean acting in ways contrary to the, than what you expect or what others hope from you. But it's basically saying stay determined. Who gives a rat's ass? This is all about you. The time of change is here. Okay. I love you guys. Have a fantastic rest of the day. And the computer timed out on me. But I'm still recording, so that's awesome sauce. I love you guys so much.